now here's what it appears the actual looks like actuals are going to be closer to that. Then you can compare, and then we'd have to be able to compare what the, what the additional money is to be allocated out in other programs. Because it's three million dollars, but it's going to be closer to half a million dollars, maybe. So no, that's right. That, that one's two and a half. That one's one million two hundred fifty thousand. Oh, am I on the wrong page? Yeah, I'm on the wrong line. Yeah, yeah, seven hundred fifty. So seven hundred fifty. Yeah. Okay, I'm on the wrong line there. Got it. Any other questions on that particular piece, Justin? Thank you. Um, and the other program is is basically meeting the same unmet need, which is those things that were um, either above and beyond the Jump Start Rehab, or maybe a slightly different activity than the Jump Start Rehab. Um, but the main difference with the neighborhood uh, rehabilitation program is it's done through an agency, so it was not individual applying for that. Um, we currently have um, approximately $300,000 worth of requests in. We are still working through those, and this is one of those issues where it's a huge duplication of benefits issue, and it's about making sure that they have maximized the Jump Start Rehab funding. Again, trying to leverage all of the state and federal money that we can. Um, but the good news is we have found where we are able to use these funds to make sure that those projects can be completed. Um, so those are in queue right now, <coughs> and we anticipate that, again, if you were um, trying to look for a reasonable budget amount, that maybe that number, if it's 300000 now, we could potentially have 600000 to 700000 additional coming in in the future. So that number probably in the future will look around probably a million is much more reasonable than it's three million originally. How many agencies do we have upon? Currently we only have block by block. Okay. Is there anybody out there on the horizon that is looking at uh, putting something together and someone told me Jeremy Grain had his group or organization or Habitat? Has yep. anybody inquired other than block by block? Yes. Um, Habitat has inquired. Um, currently they're gearing up for their so um, we haven't heard anything more from them, but the other one is also um, CHI, the Community Housing Initiative, is another like group that has done some of work in the communities. Um, but those are the only ones we're aware of at the time. But yeah. Habitat's not applying for any uh, homes in the flooded rehab revitalization area. I know they're doing 20 homes north of town, uh, Jim Sattler and that, but that wouldn't qualify for. No, yeah, this is just rehab, right? Yeah. So why are um, again this would be another another effort where um, estimated 50 units at 60,000, and here we are, uh, good nine months into it, and you're only gonna, we're going to be one third of what we allocated appropriately. Is because the uh, the agencies uh, don't have enough homes in their program, the restrictions of owner-occupied, I mean, what is yeah. the reason, did you say? In, in actuality, we really anticipate that there could be up to 80 units. So in this case, more units, but again, the, the average that we're seeing is about 13000 per home. And I guess the good news is we're able to use the Jump Start Rehab money um, to meet more of that gap. So that's the good news. The good news is the only unmet need for those properties is averaging about 13000 So there's no request for additional funding from the... It's not like we've capped out so all the agencies that would, are, are asking for more money at this point in time. Justin? The program that we set up, was that only for agencies of some sort or another, or could an individual come and say, I can, I can meet all your requirements, I want to rehab? The individual would apply under the um, that other program, the first one I talked about, the Rehab Reimbursement Program. Yep. So will that, will that be... Uh, the actual problem. Um, that would be easier, easier to track. And then when you look at
put the other issues up on top. Uh, loan mediation, there's been zero requested for that at this point in time. Um, the flood insurance is substantially uh, uh, different. What are you uh, anticipating on that we're going to fully fund the 550000 um, The same with the, the appraisals. And so looks like we're running under projection on those programs, uh, even the ones that we have. Um, the contract seller, is that uh, 18000 Is that Janice Henley's deal? There's, 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 there's only been one, one property uh, in the, that was in the HGP area. The rest of them are in the, uh, the CDG acquisition area. That's one of the big ones too, Mayor, but one of the reasons it looks so we had 117 properties in the HMG area. Now we're getting to that 1,300, and we just got, I know they started having meetings to offers this morning. I know one person. So now these are going to start flowing, and we'll see that pick up. It's just been, we just had basically, what, 10% of the total we're going to have to do already. Okay. 